Hey guys, I'm Steven. Welcome to SRC Paradise. Today I'm going to show you how I barbecued my, my rims and my tires to get the glue off the tires and transfer them to, to new wheels. So stick around. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I wanted to increase the, the overall the track, the width of the car uh, for the Landslide XTE, uh, Red Cat Racing Landslide XTE. There's not anything wrong necessarily with the, the way it comes from the factory, the width uh, that, that it has stock, um, because I think it performs really well. I just want a wider, I want right, wider track, um, I think. I mean, I think there's just inherent benefits in handling. It's, you know, it's going to be more stable in the corners, perhaps less likely to flip. Hopefully, maybe some more stability in the air. Um, just uh, overall more stability. Having said that, I have not really experienced anything uh, in terms of cornering or handling that I think can be you know attributed to to its current width. In other words, I think it's fine. I just want I just personally want it to be wider. So um, having okay, having said all that, there are a couple different ways that we can achieve that. Um, the, the easiest way. Uh, is to get <clears throat> rims, wheels, that have uh, you know a greater offset than the factory. So um, I think I think the factory Red Cat Racing wheels have a half inch offset from from the factory, and they're also running. If you can see in there, or I'll show you over here. And you can kind of see right here. They're also running, it looks, uh, I measured this, it's a half inch extension uh, on the hub, which uh, is cool. So what I did was I purchased, uh, I kind of scoured the internet, did my research, and I found a set of RPM, um, I think they're, they're RPM Stable Max wheels, um, not Maximizer, Revolvers, sorry. RPM Revolver Stable Max in the 3.2. So here's the factory. That's what the factory rim looks like, right? It's got, you know, it's got all these holes around it. Um, but you can tell it's not, it's not very deep dish at all. So here are the new RPM Stable Max. Let me get some better light. Here's a rim right here. RPM uh, Revolver Stable Max, and look at that awesome deep uh, deep dish. You can see the offset. These are um, in uh, 1.2 inch offset. And the, the cool thing is, I, I like the design. I think they look cool. Um, <clears throat> I actually used to have a truck back in the day. It was a, a Nissan Armada SUV. And I had, it was lifted. And it was like a 6 inch lift kit and I had 35 inch tires on it. And it was just this big, huge SUV. It was awesome. I also had American Racing Mag. Um, gosh, I think they were, oh, I'm totally spacing it. I think they were Mojave wheels. They looked exactly like this. So I, I'm cool with, you know, they were black Teflon coated. These are plastic, but... I, I like the design. I think it's cool. And I also think it's kind of cool that they look like the factory wheels that Red Cat chose. So again, I'm cool with the, de the design, you know, to each his own. Um, they have other designs in this offset, 1.2 inches. But um, I just thought it was cool to, you know, get the same factory design, both a deep, a deep dish offset. So again, these are 1.2 uh, inch offset combined with the factory... Uh, Red Cat half inch offset spacer in there, right there, um, <clears throat> should give us a little more width. So that's what I've got going on here. I've got the RPM Revolver Stable Max uh, one inch, 1.2 inch offset um, wheels, and that is the factory. So you can kind of see. Oops, sorry. You can kind of see it's not a huge difference. It actually ends up being like like three quarters of an inch or something. Uh, it, it's not a huge difference, but it's gonna be. 
I think it's going to be nice. So we're baking the tires right now on the rims. We're going to try to get those tires off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, remount them on here. We should be good to go. Um, we're here in my backyard and uh, I've got a little experiment going on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to grill some tires. So I've done a little research and I've seen a couple, um, a couple ways to get the tires off of the pre-mounted factory rims. But one of the one of the issues with doing them uh, in the stove in your house is that they uh, uh, you know they let off a lot of fumes. It's going to really stink. It's going to smell bad. So I don't want any kind of like noxious fumes in my house. Uh, so what I plan to do is I'm going to grill them on my barbecue over here. And right here we've got <clears throat> we've got the tires. These are these are the factory stock tires for the for the landslide and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do two at once I'm gonna see how that works I just put them on a like a cookie sheet that um, I don't mind if this cookie sheet gets ruined I hope it doesn't but I protected it with some tin foil and I've actually put little blocks of wood just little excess wood I had laying around my garage um, I just yeah, you know, I'm gonna. Say, they have it. It just happens. To, I didn't even have to cut it like that. It, I got lucky, and they happen to fit perfectly uh, on top of the tire, as, just as a little riser. So um, I don't know. I just figure it's better that way to support the tire up, so the rubber's not actually sitting on the aluminum foil or the hot cookie sheet. So the idea here is we're gonna we're gonna get the grill up to temperature. Um, I'm gonna do it at 300 degrees. That seems to be sort of like the magic number. And then, step two is get the tires in there for about roughly 10, I've read 10 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes sounds like a long time for me, to me. Um, so we're gonna try, I'm gonna try 10 minutes. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna check on them and see how they're doing. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get my gloves. Right now I don't have any gloves, but I've got them in the garage. So I'm gonna grab some gloves. I'm gonna do two at a time. I'm gonna put them in there in 10 minutes, pull them out check to see how that glue is doing if it's loosened up yet or not and um, we'll just take it from there if if it needs more time I'll put it in there for another five or ten minutes and, and then check and see how it does so um, <laughs> wish me luck all right guys we're back um, <clears throat> moment of truth it's the grill's still a little bit hot but I, uh, I I opened it up I bled off some of the hot air or the temperature lowered the temp on the grill effectively and uh, we're right around close to like 385 and we're gonna put the the tires in and I will let you know what's up okay there we go most of my flame is over on this area so that's why I scooched it over I don't know if this will focus. This is my camera phone. It's showing me 350. I'm on the lowest temp setting. I might actually I might turn off one of my burners. Um, also, I gotta check the time because uh, I only want to leave them in there about 10 minutes ish at the most. So I flipped the first one over. Um, you see that? So it's popping right off the rim. Super easy. Oh my god, it's so hot though. Definitely be careful guys. Wear gloves for sure. Alright. So the back side is, um, I don't know what's up, but the back side is super hot. I'm just going to flip it over and let those cook for a little bit longer. Okay guys, we're back. Um, about 5 minutes later, so they've been out about 15 minutes. I already pulled one out, the back side popped off real easy. But the glue is coming right off. All right, that's it. We got both sides. Boom! Work like a charm. Now we're gonna set up. And also, these little two by four. Actually, they're one one by twos. I think that's the way to go. You need some kind of a of a stand to raise them up. And there goes the back set. <laughs> 